Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video tutorial. In that video tutorial, I have explained how hackers attacked our database using SQL injection to delete our table. So now in this video tutorial, how to prevent the, from the SQL injection using stored procedure with parameterized queries. Now this is the AMP table. Imagine it's a just a login details, username and password. Now let's create a stored procedure. Create procedure check login at input username and varchar 50 at input password and varchar. I'm declaring some variables here username and password as begin and end. Now between this begin and end, first let's set no count on no count on declare at SQL query and varchar max size. Now what we'll do is now we'll enter set at SQL query. We'll enter the command statement here. Select star from EMP where username is equals to the username I'm adding user one and password. The password is equals to password123 at this is at password123 password123 and this one also at 123 at the right 123 colon dot colon that's it now execute execute sp underscore execute sql at at sql query sql query now here i am declaring some variables here at username and varchar 50 comma at password and varchar 50 comma at username this variable equals to with this variable input username is equals to at at input username username comma at password password is equals to at input password that's it now let's create this procedure store procedure commands completed successfully now let's execute the statement execute check login check login now here i'm adding the username first let's check the table username i'm adding here user1 and password comma password is password123 so when i execute this statement i'll get the employee id1 records details oops must be scalar oops here is the username the column name we need to add at password the column names sorry for that the column names we need to add now we'll again alter this procedure execute commands completed successfully now let's check the output See here we got employee ID 1, we got the employee ID details. Now hackers, if they try to insert SQL injection, drop table EMP. Now before when we add this command, the table has been deleted. Instead of displaying the records, the total table has been deleted before. Now we are preventing from the SQL hackers injection. When I execute, notice it displaying the empty records because this one does not treat as a command it's a username it will treat as a username if anybody wants this source code i will drop this in the community tab that's it please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial